Yo, what's going on, guys? And we're hearing from Ian Bagley of Sports New York saying that the Bulls and Knicks have not had advanced talks about a trade for either DeMar DeRozan or Zach Levine. We just heard Zach Levine. Zach Levine's going to be out for at least a month for with right foot inflammation. That report's coming from Adrian Wojnarowski and Tim Bontemps of ESPN. And with that being said, the Heat, Sixers, Lakers, and Knicks are all people that are interested in DeMar DeRozan or Zach Levine. Let's just go ahead and to, to do this video real quickly, I just want to show you guys the information that we're hearing and what could potentially be the, the, the trade that this looks like. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section if there was anything you guys would have liked to have heard. But yes, the report we're hearing that the Knicks have not engaged in advanced trade talks with the Bulls, which means they have at least had exploratory talks, but they have not gone any further than that. DeMar DeRozan's on expiring, and he would be arguably the... They, we actually, supposedly DeMar DeRozan might have a higher trade value than Mr. Zach Levine because his extension won't be as expensive, plus people believe he's more of an impactful winning player. DeMar makes 28.6, so that's a very easy deal for the Knicks to get. It's Evan Fournier mixed with probably Emmanuel Quickly and like one other contract while Zach Levine's $40 million. So let's go ahead and real quickly just for entertainment's sake, what would this deal look like? Why? So first off, it's all around Evan Fournier's 18.8. .8. So if you're there, it's probably like 18.8. .8. So again, I think DeMar DeRozan's the more likely one because you would do 18.8. .8, plus 4.1 from Emmanuel quickly that brings you to about 23 million so you're now only five million dollars short so you if you either want to use picks or young guys because your thoughts is okay you can do Emmanuel quickly with Dylan Windler and Jericho Sims or Miles McBride and then there you go you give up four players quickly Fournier, Grimes, and Jericho Sims, and you can maybe a uh, pick, and you get yourself DeMar DeRozan. Now, if you wanted Zach Levine, that deal is gonna have to be M. Fournier and like Josh Hart with Dante DiVincenzo just to get the money to work, and that wouldn't be realistic. Or it'd be R.J. Barrett with M. Fournier. Again, I don't think that would happen. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of this report? It's definitely an interesting one because the New York Knicks, you know, seem like a team that would want to make the jump. I mean, if you're giving up RJ for DeMar, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. But I do think that, like, you know, there could be better moves out there. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. A little quick one before bed, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.